Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 13, verse 12, James chapter 2, verse 3, and Acts chapter 4, verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for being with us on a daily basis and just getting us through it, Lord God. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you for creating us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Matthew chapter 13, verse 12. For to the one who has more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. All right, and so this is regarding the speaking of the mysteries of God, right? And so like the parables, the understanding, the wisdom, the ability to hear um, what it is that the spirit is speaking, right? So everyone won't be able to hear. Everyone won't be able to collect and accumulate riches and wealth in heaven, right? Because there's a standard. And what is the standard? The standard is Christ Jesus. The standard is our cornerstone. So we know that once we receive him and and we believe on him and abide in him, it opens something up inside of us that allows us wisdom and understanding, that allows us to walk in fullness and abundance. But some will be given the opportunity to accept Christ and 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 maybe, you know, they'll accept him, but then they won't abide in him. That's an example of one who has um who who doesn't have a lot, they have eternal life. They don't have a bunch of riches in heaven or anything like that. But then if you are falling away from Christ and you don't receive him fully as Lord over your life, meaning that you don't listen to what he says, you hear Holy Spirit and you won't even turn right or left. You refuse, right? And so you're saying with your mouth, but you're not believing in your heart, Christ Jesus. So it says, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. So that great mystery, that revealing of Christ, that glory that comes from heaven, that perfect gift, you don't want that to be taken away, right? Because you refuse lordship. You can confess with your mouth, and be, but you have to believe in your heart as well. That connection has to be made. And so, um, you know, everyone who says, Lord, Lord, won't be able to enter in, right? So we need to make sure that we are a part of those who are abiding in Christ. When the Holy Spirit calls, we come and run it. When we wake up in the morning, we say reporting for duty, right? You, 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 you muster. Right. As the military term is, you must or you come to formation. Right. If you're never coming to formation, am I saying that you're not never going to get in heaven? No, I'm not saying that because it, it eternal life is free. It's a free gift. But you're going to have some evidence of lordship if you receive Christ as Lord is what I'm saying. And you're living out this life. You have to listen to the voice of Holy Spirit so you don't face condemnation. It says, for to the one who has more will be given and he who will have an abundance. But from the one whom has not, <laughs> even what he has will be taken away. And so we want to be a part of those who have and and still have right <laughs> excuse me and so um we want to be a part of those who are running the race who are in the race who are listening actively um to the word and getting that faith and that faith growing up something in us that can be fruitful remember the axe is at the root of the trees and you don't want to be a part of those who are not bearing fruit who get cut down you know we want to be walking this walk of faith. And so um, one of the ways that bearing fruit is occurring is in our treating of people. Remember, one of the greatest commandments 
the, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, right? So we need to make sure that the way that we are treating people is a parent of lordship, right? We, we, we should see lordship of Christ in our actions towards others. It says, and if you pay attention to the one who wears fine clothing and say, you sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, you stand over there or sit down at my feet. Those things are showing favoritism, right? Those things are not showing lordship because lordship is going to whisper to you who Jesus is, right? Lordship is going to whisper to you and say, the least of these is me, right? And so lordship is going to say, um, um, go over here and do this for me and, and give this, this um, man this right and speak to him these words right speak over his poverty speak speak to him address his needs and and tell him about me right if you are doing those things you are showing evidence of a lordship don't show evidence of favoritism favoritism is showing that you're not walking in the way of god right because we we are listening to the spirit so we don't face condemnation and the holy spirit is never going to lead us astray into favoritism of of one person over another a rich person over a poor a poor person a person who's our race over another race no lordship says you are my sister you are my brother and and it's because you are um a believer lordship says you are my neighbor because god has put you in my path right so that is the way we should be living this life and that is the evidence of of lordship that is the evidence that the mystery has been revealed in you and you have um accepted that free gift and and you are having and having more right you're not just having a little bit and that little bit be take away right we are walking this walk out amen all right acts chapter 4 verse 11 is the third verse that the lord gave me it says this jesus is the stone that was rejected by you the builders which has become the cornerstone we lean all our weight on christ alone we put all our hope in him he is the hope of glory Amen. So when we are rejecting or being partial toward those who are in need, um, toward those who are the least of these, toward those who 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 are are having needs and we we can meet them, um, or whoever the Holy Spirit is leading us towards, then we are rejecting Christ, right? Christ is in those situations. You have to see Christ in that person. You have to see Christ in the least of these. And, and it'll help you in your Lordship walking with him, right? Because you're doing everything that you're doing as unto Christ. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for showing us how to live life in you. We love you. We praise you. Help us. As we walk, help us as we abide, help us as we call upon your name, Lord. Help us to have more and then have more on top of that. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, and Lord, you know, if we are showing favoritism in an area, God, put something in us that, that is alerted to it when it comes into our presence, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if you would like to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit, it's in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. Meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path. 
One of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, and talk to him. He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So begin to seek his face today while he may be found. Um, one of the best ways to learn the voice of the Holy Spirit is to sit down, read your word, chew on your word, and talk to him. Amen. I just said that. <laughs> and then also one of the things that Christ wanted us to do and not forsake was the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another. Go out, find a church home, find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God, as well as go out and tell other people about Christ. Amen. Also go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.